Welcome to my channel Medicine Guide. Betamethasone skin treatments are used to treat itching, swollen and irritated skin. They can help with conditions such as eczema, contact dermatitis and psoriasis. Betamethasone skin treatments are available on prescription only. They come as creams, ointments, lotions, scalp treatments, lotions and foams, medicated plasters. They're stronger than some other treatments, such as hydrocortisone skin creams. Betamethasone is a type of medicine known as a steroid, also called a corticosteroid. Sometimes betamethasone is mixed with an antibiotic called fusidic acid. This is used to treat bacterial skin infections. It also comes as an eye ointment, drops for your eyes, ears or nose, tablets and injections. For allergies, inflammation and autoimmune conditions, betamethasone eye, ear and nose treatments. For allergies, inflammation and autoimmune conditions, betamethasone tablets and injections. In this video we will discuss uses or indications, precautions and side effects of betamethasone cream or ointment. So let's start our discussion, but before that please subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide. Now let's start our discussion. Betamethasone cream and ointment are topical corticosteroid medications commonly used to treat a variety of skin conditions. These medications work by reducing inflammation, itching, and redness in the affected areas. Here are some common uses of betamethasone cream and ointment. 1. Eczema. Atopic dermatitis. Betamethasone is often prescribed to manage the symptoms of eczema, including itching, redness, and inflammation. It can provide relief during flare-ups but should be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional. 2. Psoriasis. Betamethasone can be effective in treating psoriasis, a chronic skin condition characterized by thick, scaly patches of skin. It helps reduce inflammation and may slow down the growth of skin cells. 3. Dermatitis. Various forms of dermatitis, such as contact dermatitis, caused by allergens or irritants, seborrheic dermatitis, affecting the scalp and face, and perioral dermatitis, around the mouth, can be treated with betamethasone to alleviate itching and inflammation. 4. Allergic reactions. Betamethasone may be prescribed to treat skin reactions caused by allergies, including hives, or urticaria. It can help reduce itching and swelling associated with allergic skin conditions. 5. Pruritus. Itching. Itching can be a symptom of several skin conditions, and betamethasone cream or ointment can provide temporary relief when itching is intense. 6. Inflammatory skin conditions. Betamethasone may be used to manage other inflammatory skin conditions, such as lichen planus, which causes itchy, purplish bumps on the skin. 7. Rash and irritation. Betamethasone can be applied to areas of the skin that are red, inflamed, or irritated due to various causes, including friction, heat, or minor skin injuries. 8. Scalp conditions. Betamethasone in the form of a scalp lotion or foam can be prescribed for conditions like scalp psoriasis or seborrheic dermatitis affecting the scalp. 9. Lichen simplex chronicus. This skin disorder, characterized by thickened, itchy patches of skin, may be treated with betamethasone to reduce inflammation and itching. It's important to note that betamethasone cream and ointment are potent medications and should only be used as directed by a healthcare professional. Prolonged or excessive use can lead to side effects such as skin thinning, skin discoloration, or the development of stretch marks. Always follow your healthcare provider's instructions, and if you have any concerns or experience adverse effects, consult your healthcare provider promptly. Additionally, betamethasone should not be used on certain areas of the body, such as the face, groin, or underarms, unless specifically directed by a healthcare professional, as these areas are more sensitive and prone to side effects. Precautions. Most adults aged 18 or over can use betamethasone skin treatments. Medicated plasters are suitable for adults only. Betamethasone may not be suitable for some people who have ever had an allergic reaction to betamethasone, any of the ingredients, or any other medicine in the past, are trying to get pregnant, are already pregnant or you're breastfeeding, have acne, 
rosacea, including rosacea around your mouth, called perioral dermatitis, or a type of psoriasis called plaque psoriasis. Have a skin infection. Have broken skin, cuts or itchy skin that is not inflamed or red. Dosage. Creams are better for skin that is moist and weepy. Ointments are thicker and greasier, and are better for dry or flaky areas of skin. You will usually use betamethasone skin cream or ointment once or twice a day. The amount of cream or ointment you need to use is sometimes measured in fingertip units. This is the amount you can squeeze onto the end of your finger. A fingertip unit of cream is generally enough to treat an area that's twice the size of the palm of your hand. Side Effects Betamethasone skin treatments are unlikely to cause any side effects if you follow the instructions. You're more likely to have side effects if you use it on large areas of skin for long periods of time, or on sensitive skin areas such as the face, or under dressings or nappies. Some people get a burning or stinging feeling for a few minutes when they put betamethasone on their skin. This stops happening after you've been using it for a few days. Serious side effects. Serious side effects are rare. They happen to less than 1 in 10,000 people who use betamethasone skin treatments. You're more likely to have a serious side effect if you use betamethasone on a large area of skin for a long time. Using betamethasone for a long time can make your skin thinner or cause stretch marks. Stretch marks are likely to be permanent, but they usually fade over time. Stop using betamethasone and tell a doctor straight away if your skin becomes redder or swollen, or yellow fluid is weeping from your skin. These are signs of a new skin infection or an existing one getting worse. You get lighter or darker patches on your skin. These are a sign of changes to the pigment in your skin. You are using betamethasone for psoriasis and you get raised bumps filled with pus under your skin. You have a very upset stomach or you're being sick, vomiting, have very bad dizziness or fainting, muscle weakness, feel very tired, have mood changes, loss of appetite and weight loss. These can be signs of adrenal gland problems. You feel confused sleepy, more thirsty or hungry than usual, pee more often, have hot flushes, start breathing quickly or your breath smells of fruit. These can be signs of high blood sugar, hyperglycemia. You have any new problems with your eyesight after starting to use betamethasone. That's a no for this video. If you want to watch more videos like this, please keep watching my channel. Disclaimer. Channel's intention is to make sure that its consumers get information that is accurate, reviewed by an expert and error-free. However, the information mentioned here should not be used as a replacement for the advice of a qualified physician. The information given here is for informational purposes only, which may not cover all possible precautions, side effects, contraindications or drug interactions. Consult your doctor and discuss your queries related to any medicine or disease. Thank you for watching the video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide.